Alright guys, welcome back to V-Twin Online. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to pull the clutch assembly off the bike. Uh, the purpose for showing you this is uh, I've already shown you that for a skater repair, which is behind the rotor, you can pull the compensator assembly off, pull the chain tensioner off, and you can actually tweak this chain and pull everything off without uh, having to pull the clutch assembly. Well, some of you guys, you've been able to take it off, but you can't get it back on. And I don't want to leave you guys hanging, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue and carry on from here. And some of you, uh, it, the chain might be just too tight. So, let's carry on. Uh, our special tools are that of a breaker bar, socket wrench, open end wrench, 11 uh, 16 736 Allen, uh, snap ring pliers, uh, one inch 3 16 socket and a one and a half socket so let's get started not too difficult through some movie magic I've already loosened up some of the parts in here but I'll just go through the motion so let's break loose the compensator nut here we go go ahead and show the rotation of the nut here all right so you got that This should be basically a repeat of what we've already seen, right? Right. And with a 916th, loosen up your chain tensioner. There's a bolt back there that you're not going to get access to and you don't need access to it. But you're going to have to apply some pressure to hold the bolt steady while you're pulling that off. So we got our nylock nut off. We're going to have to replace that. And now our chain tensioner is loose. And now here we come to our focal point of our discussion. You've got an adjusting screw, a lock nut, snap ring, a release plate. That's what we're working on now. So we're going to Loosen, hold our adjusting screw with a 7 30 seconds Allen and with an 11 16th we're going to break loose our lock nut. Here we go. Got the lock nut loosened. And now what we're going to do is loosen the uh, adjusting screw. Going to unscrew that thing out. And you see the whole adjusting rod or screw and jam nut comes out as one assembly. We'll set that down. Now we'll come in here and pop our snap ring out. Invest in a good set of snap ring pliers for this. I got these cheapo ones. Thought I'd get a lot of mileage out of it and I'm not real happy with them. All right. I've got my snap ring loose. I'm going to put my flathead screwdriver in here. I'm just going to pop it out the rest of the way, I think. There we go. If you saw that, hopefully. Okay. I've done this ten times already. It comes out a different way each way. The point is get the thing out of there. All right. Now, we'll go ahead and pull out our release plate. There we go, release plate. And that'll show you your uh, main shaft and your main shaft nut. So let's go ahead and switch from our one and a half inch socket to our one and three sixteenth socket. And we'll go ahead and we'll watch the rotation of this. And I've already got the rear wheel is in fifth gear and I have the rear wheel brake strapped down with the motorcycle tie down so it won't rotate. So that's locking everything down. Don't forget that. Of course I'm turning it the wrong way. Here we go. As I promised, I show you my successes and my failures. So there you go. Now you guys see the proper rotation of that jam nut. 
or excuse me, the main shaft nut. There you go, I've got it out. You see what that looks like? And that's it guys, it's ready to come apart. So, this compensator assembly is going to slide off this shaft like this, alright? And I recommend you do that so you can protect the threads under there. Here's your tensioner. There's a bolt back here. That bolt's not going to come off. And then this might be a little snug if this is the first time you've done this. Put a, a thumb up here and a thumb down here and your finger, fingers to pull on the assembly. And you may need a hammer, a mallet. And there you go. You can see that sliding. Now careful because this is going to come falling off. All this stuff's going to fall off, all right? All right, so I caught it. Here we go. All right. Here's the back. Now we'll set that down. Here's the rest of that shaft. There's your threads. You don't want to dink up these threads. And there's a washer back here too, okay? And then you can get the rotor off with your rotor removal tool that I happen to have right here. Now that washer is still on there. There we go. There's the washer. There's the stator. Put it back on. Put our washer back on. Put our shaft back on. This thing is, it's almost like it only wants to go on one way. And now I've gone around several times. There we go. Got that guy on there. Now here's that bolt I was telling you about. It's not going to come off. So when you put this back together, make sure you line up the tensioner with it. So you're going to kind of get it all in one shot here, all right? So see below? I'm going to try and fish it at the same time. And of course, I'm probably blocking the shot. There you go. You see? I've got the bolt at the same time. This goes on a little easier. There we go. I've got the splines lined up. I got my bolt lined up. I've already got the spline shaft for the clutch or for the compensator assembly on there. And now this thing will slip right over. And we'll go ahead and push this on. And there you go, guys. All you gotta do is button the rest of it up. We'll go ahead and uh, remember you're going to use Loctite on your compensator nut. You got your washer on there. And now you've got your jam nut on your main shaft, or excuse me, your main shaft nut, which is opposite threads. Put that on. And I did say you're going to use Loctite, right? or thread lock maybe I should say. That's 60 to 70 foot-pounds. Alright. 